What's up guys, Merry Christmas. It's our Christmas special today. We have a white belt mistakes video. I smashed Brad pretty good in this one. I don't really let him work. And uh, there's a big surprise at the end, so make sure you watch the whole thing. If Brad wants to pass my guard, he should probably control my guard, but instead goes for lapel grips with both hands. Now that he's on his knees, it makes more sense to pressure pass. He would have to control my legs and be postured low to do that. Instead, he has his head up, which is better suited for passing from standing. He didn't really need to try and break my grip, he could have just pressure passed. Or he could have put one foot or both on the mat to pass from standing. We talk about T-Rex arms all the time on the channel. Look at Brad's left arm. How's that going to help him? It not only doesn't help him, but it also gives me an easy underhook, which I used to pass with the knee slide. If you threaten the Americana, you can often get people to expose their back. Instead of taking his back, I pull Brad into my lap and transition to the armbar using the Kimura grip. Brad's last line of defense is his hands connected, but he let go. If I were him, I would have kept my hands connected and tried to bridge to top position and work to escape with gravity on my side. Flow Bottle sent me and Nikki these cool water bottles. They have a compartment in the bottom that you can put stuff in. It's really important that we reduce our use of single-use plastics, myself included. I really need to get away from single-use water bottles, whether it's Flow Bottle or any other brand. Let's all try to use reusable bottles. This is better from Brad. He's now taking grips on my legs, but doing nothing really to control my legs left leg. I would have tried to compress the heel to the butt to limit its mobility and offense. You'll see what I mean later in the video when I'm in Brad's guard. He is compressing my right leg to my butt and limiting its mobility, so naturally it makes sense for me to try and sweep with my left leg because it's not being controlled. It's not like I thought, oh, I want a scissor sweep. It was because it was available to me. To get a cross collar choke, you really want to have a deep grip with your initial hand. You want the instep of your hand completely wrapped around their neck, or the wrist and thumb round. It's a little easier getting these from mount because you can post your head on the mat for balance. Brad momentarily lifts his elbow from his body and I capitalize with the near side armbar. See how my knee is pointing up and my shin connected to his belly? You don't want to swing your leg over for a near side armbar when you go for it because it'll take too long and leave too much space. However, I could bring it over no problem once I was already in the armbar position and sometimes it is better to do that. If everyone that watches could give me the Christmas present of liking the video, I would super appreciate that. It seems like every video I make, there's a John Wayne sweep. Let's watch this one. I grab the sleeve, pull it across my body, and then use my legs to knock Brad's hips over my center line. Once his hips are loaded, it's game over. Now we get to see the difference between how I pass and how Brad passes. I control the legs, but as I readjust my lapel grip, Brad manages to get his foot on my hip. Now Brad has a real guard to work with. You often need to break the lapel grip in this situation, but is it stopping me from doing what I want to do? Not in this case. I clear the grip he has with his feet instead. Brad is doing a better job of not letting me grab his head, which is crucial in any position, but he has his elbows flared too far from his body. Brad would be in a much safer position if his elbow was under my armpit. It would also make it easier to get an underhook that he could use to escape. Same problem here. Brad's elbows are too high up, which makes it easy for me to get a high mount. Generally, the higher you are in mounts, the easier it is to get submissions. I fall into the armbar and grab Brad's leg so he can't come up on top. Now I bring my leg over his head. I often do this because it's often easier and quicker than trying to bring the leg over the head before you fall back. You must do one or the other though or they'll roll on top of you. Let me know what you achieved this year in Jiu Jitsu or life. For me, it was definitely the YouTube channel. I accomplished exactly what I said I would and knew I could. Now I want to hear your big wins. Okay, double the pell grips again. What's that going to achieve other than showing you guys my nipple? At least you can't see the other two. And yeah, I've got three nipples. When I was a kid, the other kids didn't believe me that it was a nipple, but why would I lie? See how my left foot stays on the mat? That's what gives you the power in the sweep. You don't just rock to the side and hope momentum will carry you. To pass, I'm controlling the hips, then I use my hand for assistance just to help me clear the knee out of the way. As Brad tries to escape, I get my arm underneath his arm and grab the lapel right at the back of the neck. Now I'm in the perfect position for a paper cutter. I drop my elbow down, forcing my forearm into his neck as I pull the lapel with the other hand to take out the slack. What do you guys think of the Christmas music? I think it's pretty cool that there was lo-fi Christmas music that I could use. I think the big takeaway for Brad in this video is that he needs better grips to initiate the guard passing. The right lapel grip of Brad would be better if his right knee was on my right thigh. Otherwise, the grip doesn't really make sense and he'd be better off with an underhook. I momentarily 
try to wrestle Brad, but I realize that it won't be the path of least resistance. I attempt another John Wayne sweep, but lose the grip. Brad falls forward with his hands on the mat, which gives me the easy underhook. Now I just need to block the posts. In this case, it's his arm and leg. I have a video on Butterfly Guard that you should check out. This sweep is in there. Brad turtles and does a good job of preventing me from getting inside position. Always pull people to the side from turtle. Don't pull them straight back. I always cringe when people pull others straight back as you can really hurt them. Plus, it's not nearly as effective. Generally, you don't want to climb on people either. I snatch up the Kimura grip and look how I shrimp out so I can make space for my leg to get in front of his face. Priority number one with an arm bar is wrist control. With two hands on one and not letting Brad turn his wrist whatsoever, it doesn't matter if he rolls or tries to move. Wrist control will ensure the finish. I'm going to lift Brad up with my feet. If you've seen my 20 tips video, you'll know exactly why. His butt is too high. This part might look slow motion, but it's not. Just good control of my feet and a beautiful helicopter arm bar. Give me those sweet, sweet style points. Brad should try to get his elbow on the inside of my knee shield, but now that he drops down to a knee and into my half guard, the grip on the lapel is no good. He isn't controlling my hips enough either, making it easy for me to scoot them out and come up on top. This is one of my favorite passes, the side smash. I use my body to collapse the knee as my arms wouldn't have been strong enough to smash the knees down by themselves. Legs are much stronger than arms. Although I'm pointing out all the mistakes Brad is making, Brad is still very good at jiu-jitsu. I didn't give him much of a chance to display his skill as I ended up just smashing him the whole time. Oops. He definitely deserves his blue belt though. He's highly skilled, a dedicated student, helps teach the kids class, and has been training about two and a half years. Everyone makes technical mistakes, especially when the camera is in front of them and thousands of people watching. I want to say big thank you to all my friends that have been on the channel. They put themselves out there for your education and entertainment. I thought this would be a really nice way of giving Brad his blue belt. Blue belt is a tough belt with so many ups and downs. You still struggle against the white belts at times and the higher level blue belts still beat you up. Jiu Jitsu is about perseverance. If your life was written in a book, it would be boring if everything just went great the whole time. The struggle is part of the journey. My book is full of struggle. When I struggle, I recognize the importance of it. I understand that it's crucial and will allow me to take the next step forward. Struggle leads to growth, but not if you quit. This is Brad's son, Tyler, who's also getting his blue belt today. He's highly skilled and also an incredible musician. I love grappling and sparring with my daughter, and when my twins are older, I can't wait to share this with them as well. Let me know if Jiu Jitsu is a shared passion in your family too. As we wrap up the year and Christmas special, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, Patreon members, friends, and family. All the support is really motivating. And big congratulations to Brad and Tyler. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're still here, make sure to leave a fist bump or a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.